Taking question number 5 of exercise 8.1 from the chapter application of integrals. The question is like this find the area of the region bounded by the ellipse x square upon 4 plus y square upon 9 is equal to 1. Now to solve this question firstly we shall sketch the area required to be calculated. Now the given uh, area which is represented by this curve is the standard form of the ellipse x square upon b square plus y square upon a square is equal to 1. Okay. Now because uh, this is in the standard form so we can convert this in the standard form as uh, x square upon 2 square plus y square upon 3 square is equal to 1. Now because this ellipse is given in the standard form so few things can always be concluded. First thing is this that the center of this ellipse is origin. Okay. Next it is symmetric about x axis and y axis because this curve contain the terms of x square and y square only. So it would be symmetric about x axis and y axis. Okay. Next its major axis is along y axis. Now you can see that the denominator of y square is greater as it contains 3 square and denominator of x square is 2 square which is smaller than the denominator of y square. So the major axis would be along y axis. Okay. Next it intersects x axis at the points plus minus 2 comma 0 and it is going to intersect y axis at the point 0 comma plus minus 3. Okay. So with the help of this information if I draw the coordinate axis I can mark these points. This is plus minus 2 comma 0 a, a dash and 0 comma plus minus 3 as b b dash and I can make the ellipse like this okay so the major axis you can see it is along y axis and minor axis is along x axis so this is my ellipse x square upon 2 square plus y square upon 3 square is equal to 1 now next since the ellipse is symmetric about x axis and y axis so this means that the coordinate axis divides the ellipse into four quadrants of equal area. Okay, so so because I have pointed out the symmetry of, of this this ellipse about x axis and y axis, so this is uh, helpful in determining that all these four quadrants are going to be equal in area, or in other words, the ellipse is going to be divided by the coordinate axis into four quadrants and all these four quadrants would be equal in area. Okay, so because I wanted to calculate the area of complete ellipse, now I am going to calculate the area of one quadrant multiplied by four to get the complete area of the ellipse. So area of the ellipse is equal to four into area of one quadrant. Now to calculate the area of one quadrant, I uh, first of all shade this area. So this is going to be my first quadrant. Okay. And I divide this quadrant into the vertical strips. Okay, so this gives me an idea that uh, if I am going to calculate all the areas of all these vertical strips and add them, then I am going to get the area of the first quadrant. Now, to obtain the area of the one strip, I assume a vertical strip whose thickness is dx and its length is going to be equal to y. Okay, so as I have been discussing in previous questions also, the thickness is not important because the strip which we have taken is infinitely decimally small that it, it is very very thin. Its thickness is as thin as that of a line. Okay. So it can be considered as a rectangle and the area of one vertical strip in first quadrant would be equal to y dx. dx is its thickness. y is the distance. Uh, y is the length of the strip also and it is also the distance of any point on the ellipse from x axis. Okay, so this value of y would be obtained from this curve that is ellipse and on solving we can write this as y square upon 9 is equal to 1 minus x square upon 4 or I can write this as equal to or, uh, this 9 is cross multiplied so I, or, and on taking square root I get y is equal to plus minus 3 into square root of 1 minus x square upon 16 on taking LCM inside the bracket and simplifying I get y is equal to plus minus 
थ्री बाय टू इंटू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर ओके नाउ बिकॉज आई हैव टेकन द फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट सो द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई वुड बी पॉजिटिव सो एरिया ऑफ द वन स्ट्रिप वुड बी इक्वल टू थ्री बाय टू इंटू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स ओके सो द एरिया ऑफ द फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट वुड बी ऑप्टेन बाय इंटीग्रेटिंग दिस वैल्यू फ्रॉम द लिमिट जीरो टू टू ओके सो वी कैन राइट द एरिया ऑफ द फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट एज इक्वल टू थ्री बाय टू टाइम्स इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स फ्रॉम द लिमिट जीरो टू टू ओके Further, I've written in this step 4s2 square so that I can apply this formula. Integration of square root of a square minus x square dx is equal to x upon 2 into square root of a square minus x square plus a square upon 2 into sine inverse of x upon a plus c. Okay. So applying this formula, I'm going to get this as equal to 3 by 2 as it is, and integration of this would be equal to that is square root of 2 square minus x square will be equal to x upon 2 into square root of 2 square minus x square plus 2 square upon 2 into sine inverse of x upon 2 and the limits are this is the lower limit zero this is the upper limit zero for which we have to solve and on simplifying the limits I am going to get this as equal to 3 by 2 times so you can see on placing the value of with the value 2 that is upper limit in this term this is going to become zero because i am getting 2 square upon 2 square okay so this will becomes this, this term will become 2 square upon 2 into sin inverse of 2 upon 2 which will be equal to sin inverse of 1 or pi by 2 placing uh, the lower limit here x is equal to 0 this whole value will become zero and x as equal to zero this whole value will again become equal to zero so this will be equal to 3 by 2 times 0 plus 2 sin inverse of 1 minus 0 plus 0 as discussed this i have told you that this will be equal to pi by 2 so this will be equal to pi so this whole bracket is actually equal to pi pi into 3 by 2 is equal to 3 by by 2 therefore area of the ellipse is equal to 4 into 3 pi by 2 which is equal to 6 pi square unit which is actually my required answer so this is how i'm going to solve this question friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you